these three, these three tombstones are just getting steady activity. Deep in the heart of western Kentucky, in the buckle of the Bible Belt, lies over 260 square miles of protected woodland known as the land between the lakes. With the construction of Kentucky Dam and the creation of Kentucky Lake, several Native American burial grounds were covered, hundreds of homes were abandoned, and thousands of graves were exhumed and moved. In the wake of this change were spirits demons summoned by rituals and monsters. Death covers this land. Tonight, we are going to the infamous Hotel California and Pleasant Hill Cemetery. Yes, um... You'll see some glowing tombstones out here in LBL. Um, out going toward Katawa is uh, where they drive through, and it's literally like your car's going uphill. And if you get out, if you have baby powder all over your hands, you'll see handprints. It's like they push you. But it was a bunch of stuff we did during when I was younger that I still hear people still can do today. Uh, Hotel California gets a little creepy at night sometimes depending on what time of year it is toward the autumn uh, autumn solstice as far as there's a bunch of other stories that I can't quite remember but right now you got a basis and uh, you two are from Marshall County too so you'll find out lots of love first we arrived at Hotel California a home abandoned in the TVA takeover where people have been known to be yanked pushed and hear disembodied voices. And now, let's get in to the investigation. It smells fresh, too. Yeah. Someone's been here recently. Oh, oh Jasmine 23. That. Oh, yeah, that's fresh. This. Yeah. Someone really likes blowjobs. Okay. Go back. Okay. Go back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna turn on the Spirit Talker app. I think this is a load of tripe, and it's absolute garbage. It costs four dollars on the uh, app store. Andrew, why are you here? I'm here because I believe that this is all a bunch of crap, and I just kind of want to prove that it's a bunch of crap. I missed talking. I missed talking. It's only been a couple minutes. <laughs> you already missed it? This is the EMF meter. Let's see if we're getting spikes or anything. Put it like next to the spirit talker. I like music. Well, here, let's see. Let's see if I have some music on my phone. Okay. 
play, we'll play some music for you. We can play, we can, we can play some slut rap. I will. We will sit with you. Dog! <laughs> I mean, for it to randomly say that? Ooh, I can feel, I got, I can feel goosebumps in them. Like, that, that was just kind of cool. That was, that was definitely cool. I'll do like this. This is helping me. This is helping me. This is just crazy, dude. Get a shot of that. Music is, a, is therapy, man. Helps us all feel better. I definitely thought it was cool that, you know, we had a moment where it asked us to play a song and whether it was real or not, to have a song request from Beyond the Grave is a pretty cool experience because music's the, you know, last mag... I believe it's one of the last magics left because it can influence you to... I can make you feel what I need you to feel through a sound. Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't play some slut rap. That's actually pretty cool. That was it. That's pretty cool. Quit. Quit or quit? Which? 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 But I do have to say this. The spirit box thing. Uh, I don't it's know. A it's, a, it's an yeah. It's an app on your phone, and it says shit. We had no more activity over the next forty-five minutes, so we decided to head to Pleasant Hill Cemetery, one of the over two hundred cemeteries in LBL. Interestingly. My audio did not work while I was filming for the first 15 minutes or so as we introduced ourselves and tested equipment. Then, the audio suddenly cuts on. Now the graveyard definitely had a different feeling. It almost felt like people were paying attention. It's creepy. And it just did a kid one right here. Man, they're like standing on their like, like their tombstones right here, dude. Two of them. There's three. One, two, right here, and then right here. Why is it? It's just jumping on these two. These three. These three tombstones are just getting steady activity. Every single grave had one, almost like it was like whoa. It gave me a creepy feeling being at the cemetery that we were at. Dark Anthony here. Dark Anthony here. That's unsettling. My lot's dead though. Definitely unsettling. Alright, let's do an EVP guys. You better be quiet. You better be quiet. You just said that there was a dark entity here. Can that dark entity say something? What is your name? Creature. We are. Shh. Listen. What'd she say? Flipping? Listen. Yeah, there's people that continue. <laughs> hey, no, I'm actually serious. I need a buddy to go pee with. Kill us. Push me around. Kill me. <coughs> Tell you to hold this for me. <laughs> That's creepy as fuck. Go deeper and shit, but look how tall that thing is right there. Like, what would be possibly connected? Well, I'm going deeper.
You didn't hear that! What? It's, there's something right fucking there! What was it? A fucking animal! Are you sure? Yeah, I heard fucking- I heard it run! Are you sure you weren't running? <laughs> no, I heard it run! It was crackling leaves! But yeah, I don't know. I guess that's the most exciting thing. I'm just hearing his fucking scream, dude. Because it was funny. It was a good one. It was a good scream. Because it made me go, what just happened? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, what made a man? scream like that, you know, <laughs> like that's, I was like, huh, and turn out to bear, he heard a noise, <laughs> so he went, ah! <laughs> they left us all behind. Oh my god, they just left. Now, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> that hornet was all over me, it was up in my hair, it was just trying to crawl in my ear, it was after my light, I had to personally get out of there. I don't know, you hear, and then you're like, oh shit, something's here. <laughs> and then you walk away from me, you know. <laughs> I mean, after reviewing the footage, you know, yeah, there were definitely some creepy moments, but as far as the hornets go, that was, that was the dampener of the night. William Edmonds. That's crazy. When we were at the front of the graveyard, it had said, beware of William. And we kind of scoured the graveyard looking for it. And as we reached the back of the graveyard, we found a gravestone that said William. And the minute that we stepped near it, it said again, bad energy here. I just, I'm definitely on edge. That's not William. Alright, William. What's William? Where's William? We gotta Kill me. We gotta... Oh, that's William! Yep. Yeah. That's what we're... That... So, should we ask William something? <laughs> I thought you were doing it. Um, William. Why should we avoid you? My neck. Why are you mad? Yeah, he said, my neck. Whoa, dude. I feel like right His at neck. The... Was he hung there? Were you hung at this tree? I'm not gonna ask questions. Don't, like that. yeah. That's a great question. Yeah. Were you hung at this tree? I feel like that's not, that's not a disrespectful That's question. a great question. It looks like he's like this. You know? Yeah. It's like he's hanging. Hmm. Is this where your neck is an issue? <sighs> Unsettling for sure. Very. Like, dude's neck was an issue, bro. Are they also hanging or are they just chilling? It's, I don't know if it's just standing on the trees in the dark. Well, we all do. Many regrets. We all do. I'm God. I have a regret coming here, but that's no disrespect. I hope that's no disrespect. Was one of your regrets getting hung? Are we getting to where people are friendly? Are we out of a void and danger? And there's What is with these unmarked little rocks, man? So many, so many unmarked. And then erosion. Like, look, this is just a rock, dude. That's just a rock. That's an unmarked grave. That is an unmarked grave. Why are all these unmarked? Who were you?
Why are these all unmarked? Yeah, that's street. Well, we are... What do you say? Is that a good thing? I'm happy for you to stay. Is that a good thing? When I said it, forever? Stay forever? Kill us! We decided at this point to call it a night. It was past three in the morning, and we were miles away from civilization. As the glow of the headlights illuminated the dense forest, our thoughts were filled with what had happened tonight, and where we will go next. I'm just going to, I'm not going to lie, like, it's always felt ominous when you first get to a site, especially traveling there, you know, and then you get up on there and you're walking around. Being out there in person, it really doesn't feel like anything's happening, you know. I, I feel like I'm just trying to capture some footage, but no, after reviewing the footage and seeing some of the vo uh, spirit boxes talking, that's, that is... Because I really feel like Hotel California is more urban legend. It's kind of a place for teenagers to blow off steam. I personally didn't feel like there was any type of haunting or nefarious energy at all. I just felt like we were a bunch of dudes standing in the dark. Uh, no, I, I would say Hotel California, the most scariest part about it was the Comprehend Snakes. Dude, you better like and you better subscribe. Or when I die, if ghosts are real, I'll come haunt you because you didn't subscribe. <laughs>